This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey! What's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. This is going to be another gameplay video with World Chalice. I realized that I hadn't done any World Chalice gameplay videos since Trigate Wizard came out, and I definitely didn't do anything with Trigate Wizard before it came out because I was a little bit too focused on actual play during those months. Uh, but so I realized this is something I should probably rectify, and since I've already put out a World, a World Chalice uh, deck list for December 2017, my more updated list, I figured why not take the opportunity to go ahead and do some gameplay footage with that exact same list to show you guys how it plays essentially, show you guys some of the plays that I'm making with the deck and do stuff like that. So that's what you see on screen. You are seeing the list that I put up earlier today on the deck profile that went live earlier today. If you want to watch that and get more in-depth knowledge of what cards are being played for what reasons, then definitely go check that out. Otherwise, and there's the list. It's right in front of you. The only thing I know is that there's no side deck except for three evenly matched because I build side decks based off the events that I go to because it's something that you know basically changes fluidly and it's something that I don't really spend too much time on in between events. Um, I probably should start building side decks in between events other than just really generic and janky ones, but uh, it's something that I haven't done for the last like eight years, so I mean, why start now? But anyway, this is the list I'm going to be playing with today, and so hopefully we can get some good games or maybe one really good long game, who knows. Depends on what is going to be available to me on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy servers that I'm about to jump straight into. So, let's not waste any more time right here since you guys should know what you're in for in terms of this deck. And let's just jump straight into the first possibly only game. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I have no idea if this is going to be something that I'm capable of using. I'm basically going to be filming games and whether or not I can keep the recording or not is going to be the dictator. Um, this hand is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, this makes me. This is one of those hands that makes me wish I was playing Thunder King, um, in my uh, in my main deck, because a lot of people like to play Christia as a light to send off Brilliant if you already have Venus plus uh, plus like um, plus Lee, but in reality, Thunder King is a much stronger option in most scenarios, especially against True Draco, where Christia is literally just garbage. And Thunder King arguably does the exact same thing in uh, in all those other matchups as well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the uh, standard Venus plus Exodius play. Um, I'm going to save the Brilliant Fusion um, until later. Or do I even go ahead and... Should I go ahead and use it? Just because I can reset? Ah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll play it by ear. See how it goes. But so we'll go with these two into this. Do the play into Eeb with these two. Uh, and then I can go into my Aurum, and then I can play my Brilliant Fusion. Uh, so we'll just do it like that. Uh, so yeah, Aurum here off of these two. I'm not going to use my Lee, uh, because I want to save that for, um, for later use. Uh, so we'll do this here. Yeah, I'm just going to save the Brilliant Fusion. I really actually don't need it, so I don't really care. Um, just completely, being completely honest with you, I don't actually need it, so I don't care. If I draw the Lazuli, then sucks to suck. Uh, I still drew three other cards. Um, but so, we'll use these into an Imduk, into a Lee, or into an Eeb with these two. And then Imduk with this. And then I'll be able to go into a, uh, a Proxy Dragon, Summon in Gearsu Special this, draw three, and then search. So that's fine for me. I think that's a fine play. It's it's one of the simplest combos to do, so might as well do it when it presents itself, right? It also plays around Droll and Lock Bird. Um, if you summoned this and you got like Droll and Locked, that would suck. Um, that would 100% suck for you. Uh, but if you're able to do this freely, like straight away, and keep the Lee after you use the Lee off of this Ningirsu summon. Then what you're able to do there is you're able to uh, you're able to draw three cards and then trigger Lee and then your opponent if they have draw and lock then that's when they hit you and all they do is cancel out a Lee search. Um, whereas uh, whereas if they draw and lock you on the Lee search and you can't draw three off in Gearsu, then that sucks. I drew the Lazuli. <laughs> Oops. I haven't even had this Kyoto Waterfront active the entire time. I suck at this game. Uh, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, World Legacy World Chalice here. I've got two Kyotos now. Um, I could have literally searched Gamma Seal a long time ago. I just stopped thinking for a second. 
Um, for more than a second, actually, I think you'll find. Uh, but these two can go into um, can go into my thing over here. Uh, yeah, I'll go into a firewall with these two over here. And do I wish to use Ningirisu to special summon this Lee out of my hand just for freebies? Yes, I do wish to do so. Uh, so I'll summon this Lee here, and now I can trade this up for an Ningirisu. Uh, or I could trade it up for, hmm, uh, I could trade it up for a couple of different options. I've got this Lee Engrave, which I can utilize, uh, to trigger this, so that's not too big of an issue. Uh, but I can trade that up for, um, for Ningirsu, which can then, I can special summon a card out of my hand, or I could, I need to, I need to trigger this World Legacy World Chalice. Since I did kind of make a little bit of an error, I do need to um, I do need to fix it. So I'm going to do that by doing this uh, to summon this, and then the Lee will send this to Grave, which will then summon um, World Legacy World Chalice's effect. Yes, please. I would love to. Uh, so this will summon Chosen and the World Chalice Guard Dragon which will give me some things to do. Uh, the Guard Dragon can go here. The Chosen can go over here. Uh, because I'm going to have to link into an Eeb over here, which I can do with these two. So that's fine. Uh, but that specifically triggers the Firewall Dragon. Uh, so I'll use the Firewall Dragon to summon the Lazuli out of my hand over here, which I can then go with Orum um, into... Uh, my man, and then this can search for my Gamma Seal and drop it. I'm not really trying to go for extra links. Um, it's not really that optimal um, to try and burn the extra resource to do so, uh, considering that you can just lock them out of the game with Trigate uh, and all this extra stuff. Um, so I'll do this here. Uh, the Orum's effect is not going to trigger. I'm not going to use Firewall yet. Uh, I am going to go Guard Dragon to bring back a Vanilla, which can go into Link Spider above the Trigate Wizard. And then I've got this Firewall loaded for one, because it hasn't been used yet. So that's good. And then it's going to summon this Gamma Seal out of my hand. And then if I draw into Exodius, this Brilliant Fusion can become live. Uh, there's a few different things, but this ca this waterfront has five counters on it. I I have no reason to to be afraid of anything that my opponent has potentially got access to because I have at bare minimum three negations and one bounce. Um, so that's really good. What is this? Oh, charge of the light brigade. Uh, what did you mill? You milled wolf, wolf, <laughs> and lumina. Well, that's kind of a problem. Um, you know what? I'm going to yes. I'm going to negate this with Gamma Seal, uh, just because there I, I see no reason not to, um, just so that I can go ahead and start accruing more counters to give Gamma Seal more negations. Um, so he's getting two wolves, those summons are fine. Um, uh, that means that the next card I should be negating, I should be negating with Trigate Wizard because he can just go into battle phase and attack Link Spider. And then Trigate Wizard isn't a negation for him. Uh, so that's that. Uh, but as soon as he makes anything else that tries to go to Grave, because um, this sends from uh, sends from Field to Graveyard, it gets counters for everything. So as soon as something goes to Grave, this starts gaining more counters. It already has one negation still on the Gamma Seal, but as soon as one more card goes to Grave, um, it becomes something that you can't really deal with. This Minerva uh, is not going to do a lot. Because I can negate it and banish it with two separate options. Not quite sure why that one was the play. Uh, but so, yeah, now I'm going to just Trigate Wizard uh, because this is free. He didn't go into Battle Phase first, which was the correct play. The correct play was to go into Battle Phase with your two wolves. I can only bounce one of them with Firewall Dragon, attack the Link Spider, and my Gamma Seal now has two negates because Link Spider went to Grave. But you're not dealing with Trigate. Um. Solar Recharge, I'm okay with that. That's more counters for me. I'll let that hit the graveyard, sure. Absolutely. Normally we would take those because those are just free plus ones because he discarded a card, 
But nah, we'll we'll deal with this the the way we want. Uh, okay, so he's summoning snow, booking that. Well, I guess I'll remove counters and banish the snow. Seems like an easy solution, right? So the snow is now banished. My opponent has surrendered. Yeah, that's sort of how this thing goes. That's how this plays. So yeah, I definitely I uh, I messed up in the regard of I shouldn't have searched World Legacy World Chalice off that Lee. Um, I was supposed to search a vanilla, I think. I don't know. I might have accidentally made my way into a better play. Not sure. Can't remember. It's been a long time since I did that combo tutorial. All right, so hopefully this is something else that we can uh, work around with. I get to go first. I had a game where I just opened and went second, but my opponent or my opponent either rage quit or there was just a connection error because I got forcibly ejected from the game. He didn't like going second to a Max C on his Predaplant Scorpio discarding Trick Clown. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so I'll summon the Shine Balls. I've got Shine Ball plus Exodius uh, plus um, plus Guard Dragon. So this is this is still a really good combo. This is we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna Ningirsu draw three. We're gonna summon this uh, off the uh, Ningirsu play to mask the Ningirsu, and we're gonna be good to go. Basically, I try to play this deck in a way that benefits me the most with the least amount of card investment into plays. Uh, and so like, and I try to do it in the safest way possible. Now sometimes that costs me games, but in the long run that gives me better overall games uh, because it allows me to um, it allows me to play around things uh, now playing around things when they aren't there can be a problem uh, but ultimately you know you you take that risk you I, I I'm, I'm a advocate of playing safely uh, playing safely in the in the face of unknowns is a typically good thing to do um, and especially considering that my opponent is getting like response windows here, so I think that he has like Ash Blossom or something, um, and that's that's one of the flaws of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro is that it gives you activation response windows. It's a flaw of Duel Links as well. I'm not gonna look at this with with uh, with biased rose tinted goggles. I love Duel Links, but it does very heavily allow you to t know when your opponent has Chainable set, <laughs> and that is something that is definitely an issue uh, for trying to make uh, make your stuff go through uh, without being read uh, but so let's see here where's the what am I looking for I'm looking for proxy dragon I, I lost my I, I forgot what I was doing for a second yeah I'm looking for proxy dragon all right so proxy dragon into Ningirsu which will then be masked by the Imduk to allow me to draw my full three cards and then the guard dragon will be on the field which I can link away with uh, and then things will be great to go. Okay, a World Legacy World Chalice. That is a fantastic card to have drawn here. And an E-Telly. That means I can E-Telly into Chosen. Uh, I can Chosen into Imduk, immediately tribute for this, and then I can do some weird shenanigans into uh, Trigate Wizard. So, that is what we will do. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my Firewall Dragon first, utilizing these two cards over here. I don't have access to... Um, I don't have access to Kyoto Waterfront, which is a kind of scary situation to be in. Uh, but these are the kind of situations where you will extra link um, in this in this case. Uh, but so I'm going to activate this to summon a chosen from my deck. There's the Ash Blossom. All right. Well, that actually changes a fair amount. Uh, but so I'll just do this to go into. Okay, my opponent has surrendered because I still have plays. But the play that I'd go into from here is that I use this to bring back my Shine Ball here. I make an Imduk here. I tribute said Imduk for World Legacy World Chalice. And then I use Orum to pop World Legacy World Chalice to bring back my Ningirsu. And then World Legacy World Chalice triggers, summoning Lee and another monster from my deck in these two available zones. Which then allows me to search off the Lee. And so then I still have two World Chalice monsters in my hand because I have this plus whatever monster I add with Lee. Um... So like yeah, that was a that that play was this play string was way too good for me. And my opponent was playing a 60 card deck. Strange. But anyway, we'll go in for one more. I'm able to combo off in these. I'll go in for one more. Fuck it. For the sake of full transparency, what I'm doing is I've got a timer set on my phone, and uh, every time I start and finish a game, I uh, I um I what you would call it. I uh, I stop and start the timer so I know how long the video will be because 
looking at the recording time of uh, what I've been recording on OBS, that's drastically longer. Uh, but So I'm going to activate this Brilliant Fusion, and I'm going to send Lee and send Lazuli. Uh, my opponent has an Ash Blossom. Why am I running into everybody playing 60 card decks today? This is the third person I've run into, and it's the second person that I've gotten on film. Okay, well this Ash Blossom actually ends my turn. <laughs> well, I've got two Ash Blossoms and a Ghost Ogre, and I've got a lot of quality one of cards that I can draw into, like Lee, like Venus, stuff like that. Ah, Scorpio. Scorpio, you say. Well, we'll activate this Ash Blossom on that. You'll take that minus. Why am I playing against all of these 60 card decks? I'm not even joking. There are so many of them on Percy today. Don't understand. It's all different people. I'm making sure to click on different names. Ah, that sucks for me. <laughs> that sucks for me. That's so terrible. All right. Uh, this thousand defenses got 18. Do I even care about keeping? I'm gonna keep taking these. I don't care. I re legitimately do not care. If I lose this game because of this, man, whatever. Unizombie. Oh, you're not even gonna attribute it first. You're playing around the Ash Blossom. How strange. Oh wait, no. This is a solitaire. I'm losing my mind, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, I should probably Ghost Ogre this. Yes, I will Ghost Ogre that. Um, so that if he does send Mizuki, he is forced to bring that back. Um, and then in that case, he can't send again. Uh, so he's stuck at discarding a card out of his hand to make it a higher level, or just not. Okay, yeah, he's just not good. Venus! Baby boy! There you are! Well, I guess not baby boy. Baby girl! There you are. There you is! Um, now, as long as I don't get Ghost Ogred... No, even if I get Ghost Ogred, this is fine, because I'll make the Shine Ball into an Imduk. I can then Tribute. <laughs> well, you just turned that Ash Blossom into a Burn Spell. Um, this Fairy Tale Snow is going to come back and not really do a whole lot. Um, he's banishing his entire graveyard to summon it. Um, cool. Fairy Tale Snow to book that. That actually did do a lot. I'm a little bit upset. But at the same time, I'm not losing. I'm not losing to this. So, I'm not too worried about it. These 60 card decks are like some, some wank, aren't they? They're literally garbage. <laughs> I have been seeing nothing to be impressed by from any of them. That is a soul charge. We are going to play that. Um, my opponent has surrendered. Alright. Well then. Well, we're at a point where I can either end the video now or I can go in for one more. But, I do kind of want to go in for one more because ending it on this wank pile of nonsense? Mm -mm. Not the way we want to do things around here. Oh my god, never mind. He actually has got a match format going on here. And that's going to be what, that's going to be what we use to our advantage. Um... I didn't even have a side deck built for this deck, but I'm still just going to beat the shit out of him. So I didn't even know that I joined this. I joined this and didn't even realize that it was a match. Like, I just clicked a random host. I didn't look at it. <laughs> so, oops! Um, okay, so he's got Gozuki, he's got Soul Charge. Solon Charging. I'll max see you here. Don't worry, Duelist. It sucks to suck. Get your desires ashed and then you max get max seed for your Solitaire. Yeah, man. Sucks to suck. I drew a Venus. That was a fucking amazing Venus. What is this? Anti-spell? My deck plays ten spells! Big boy! Yeah! <laughs> Summon Venus Surrender! <laughs> okay. Alright. That 60 card deck looks like trash. Garbage! Garbage! Alright, well I guess we will just end it here. I will do another duel video with World Chalice just to get a few more games in, but this is going to be where I kind of contain it because we are at like a 20 minute video at this point and I don't want it to get too long because at that point I'm just burning myself out for the sake of making longer videos. Uh, and that's something that usually makes me not enjoy doing these videos, so something to consider. But anyway, this is going to be the way I'm going to be doing duel videos from here on forward. I'm going to be playing random people, uh, but if the games are just awful, I am not going to be including them. If, if they're funny in some way, like the previous like one against the 60 card nonsense deck was, then we'll include that. But for the most part, if I'm just getting a bunch of garbage, I'm just going to not use it and try to find actual decent games of some sort or variety. So 
<laughs> what whatever suits your fancy let me know in the comments down below but other than that as always guys thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always links as always are in the description down below to my facebook fan page as well as my personal patreon page if you want to support the channel directly patreon is the best way to do so it helps improve content improve quality of equipment and stuff like that and it overall just helps out a ton and you have my eternal gratitude if that's something you wanted to go and support into but other than that like comment subscribe to all the nonsense you have already done all the stuff you usually do as per usual days of business and usual nonsense i will see you all in the next video as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time and until next time take care guys i'll see you later all right so now that the video is over i'd like to give a special thanks to iradium jay garcia yuki phoenix troy perkins and eric gertson as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on patreon this month you guys help out a ton a lot more than you may ever know and you have my eternal gratitude you guys are forever awesome thank you so much for the support you guys